<laughs> What's up guys, this is Speaking of Tech, and today I want to review the brand new MacBook Pro 2011. Now I know I'm a little late on this video, but let's go ahead and jump into it and let you guys know about the new MacBook Pro 2011. The brand new MacBook Pro is the best in its class. There hasn't been once in my lifetime where Apple hasn't impressed me with one of their great products, and so far, the amazement continues. FaceTime. You now can FaceTime with your friends and family just like before, but with a bigger and better graphics screen. Graphics. Up to two times faster processor and three times faster graphics. The 13-inch MacBook Pro now features a 2.3 GHz Intel Core i5 processor, or the fastest dual-core processor available, the 2.7 GHz Intel Core i7 processor. With turbo boost speeds up to 3.4 GHz, these processors allow the 13-inch MacBook Pro to perform up to twice as fast as the previous generation. Intel Core i5 or i7 processor. But of course Apple couldn't leave fast enough alone. The new i5 and i7 inch models bring quad core power to almost everything you do. The available 2.3 GHz quad core Intel Core i7 processor with turbo boost speeds up to 3.4 GHz and up to 8 MB of shared L3 cache enables these MacBook Pro models to run applications up to twice as fast as their top of the line models. 7 hour battery life. The new MacBook Pro delivers amazing battery life and that's with more power processor and faster graphics. Thunderbolt. Imagine accessing multiple streams of uncompressed HD video from your notebook at speeds that let you edit an HD feature film in real time. The new Thunderbolt lets you edit and view videos in the blink of an eye. So as you guys can see, the new MacBook Pro 2011 is a great product, definitely faster than the 2010 version. But if you went and bought the 2010 version six months ago like I did, there's really no reason to upgrade. It's got all the features you need, all the features you want. Unless you're just a big tech geek like I am, then go out and buy the MacBook Pro 2011. But I'm not going to do it because I already own a great machine, the 2010 MacBook Pro. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.